Although dribbling is one of the most basic basketball skills, it is one of the most difficult to master, which is why those who do it well always come at a high premium. Especially at the elite level of the sport. Morant with a pump fake. Oh, better hit that. Yeah. While there have been some exceptional ball handlers in the NBA, there are a few that have truly stood out from the crowd. Stay tuned to the end of the video as we go through the top eight greatest basketball handlers in NBA history. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Let's get started. Number 8. Tim Hardaway Hardaway was a comparatively short player, but he made up for his lack of stature with the speed of his hands and feet. That was brilliant. Every bit as good as Richmond's move in the first half. One of the moves for which he became most famous was dribbling behind the leg, which he would follow with a crossover to the opposite hand. He earned the nickname UTEP Two-Step because of the speed at which he executed crossovers. Five times an NBA All-Star, he won Olympic gold for the USA at the Sydney Olympics in 2000. Hardaway, who is the father of current NBA player Tim Hardaway Jr., shares the record for the second most steals in an NBA trade-off game, although he will be less proud of the fact that his 0-17 in a game for the Golden State Warriors against the Minnesota Timberwolves in 1991 ranks as the worst single-game shooting performance in NBA history. Number 7. Jamal Crawford Crawford did not have a signature move, although he did have a penchant for the behind-the-back crossover. He was known as J Crossover and a hop step near the rim, which often confused defenders. However, he was always prepared to try something different. <laughs> Depending on the situation, using a combination of instinct and natural ability. Although he never picked up any major honors, Crawford still managed 19,419 points in a 4,541 assist in his career. And while playing for the Knicks in 2007, still tacked up 52 points in a game, including eight triples. Arguably, injury robbed him some of the best years of his career. Number 6. Isaiah Thomas Thomas was relatively short for an NBA player, but he was able to use that to his advantage because guards find it hard to mark smaller men. It also meant that he was able to change direction quickly giving him time and space to get his shot off or to make a play. One of his trademark moves was the fake spin, often giving him the opportunity to make his move before his opponent caught on to what he was trying to do. He spent his entire NBA career with the Detroit Pistons and helped lead them back-to-back -back NBA championships in 1988-1989 and 1989-1990. He still leads the Pistons in terms of all-time minutes played points scored, steals, and assists. Number 5. Pete Maravich As a boy, Maravich used to dribble a basketball as he rode his bike to school in the morning. Picked by the Atlanta Hawks in the 1970 NBA draft, he acquired the nickname Pistol Pete, and his arsenal included jab steps and crossovers, which put defenders on the back foot. He was very quick on his feet and excelled in a fast break situations. Magic Johnson is reputed to have been inspired by the way he was able to deliver quick and eye-catching passes to his teammates. Among his career highlights was scoring 68 points in one game against the Knicks in 1977, and he was a five-time NBA All-Star. He was named in both the NBA 50th and 75th anniversary all-time teams, and when he retired, Two of the teams for which he played, the New Orleans Pelicans and Utah Jazz, retired his number 7 jersey. He died unexpectedly aged just 40 during a pickup game due to a previously undetected heart defect. Number 4. Chris Paul Among the maneuvers that Paul has perfected is the Sham God. a move where a player begins his dribble in one direction, but instead of crossing back over with the same hand, brings the other hand across the body and pulls the ball back. He has used this to great effect to get defenders to turn. 
folks. Oh, two consecutive daggers. This one, a little serendipity. So he can drive to the basket. In addition, he is one of the best passers in the league and his excellent vision and reading of the game make him good at stealing balls. Paul is a 12-time NBA All-Star and was the NBA Rookie of the Year in 2000. He also won two gold medals with the USA national team at the 2008 Beijing Olympic Games and in London four years later. Number 3. Stephon Curry Although Curry is considered among the top shooters in NBA history, he is also one of the most accomplished ball handlers as well. He employs a series of crossover moves, dribbles, able to beat most defenders, and is not afraid to use hesitation techniques to earn himself that vital half yard of space to fire off a shot. Curry shake and bake, three pointers. It goes! Steph Curry with a bounce! Looks and he's been uncomfortable. He's turned it over, and then Steph just going to work on Paul George. Curry is an excellent reader of the game and relies on his instincts and what the defense is doing without the need for a pre-prepared plan. It was not always that way. As a teenager, he lacked both inches and weight and was not able to dribble fast. But helped by his father, he trained for hours and gradually became the player that he is today. His career statistics include an eight-time NBA All-Star selection, four NBA championships, and twice being named MVP. Most recently, he helped Golden State Warriors win the 2022 NBA title, after which he was named Finals MVP. Number 2. Allen Iverson Allen Iverson's dribbling was legendary. In the chronically weak Sixers, he immediately took the lead and scored 23.5 points on average, making him the Rookie of the Year and a member of the NBA All-Rookie First Team. That season, he was the only rookie in NBA history to score 40 or more points in five games in a row. Block, three points. Iverson, wow! Iverson's ability to escape any circumstance with his renowned dribble helped him to score in a way that caused enormous issues for opposing defenders. Even great defenders such as Michael Jordan fell victim to Iverson's crossover and dribbling skill. He literally broke his defender's ankles numerous times, with victims including Daryl Armstrong, John Stockton, and Stephon Marbury. Number 1. Kyrie Irving Irving is considered among the best dribblers in NBA history. Oh, a magician with the ball. So nasty by Kyrie. Oh, Possessing both speed and agility, he navigates the field at such a high level that it is difficult for defenders to keep up. As his movements often begin with a passing, Irving is also a first-class shooter. 50 to go. Head and shoulder fake. His finish in the basket is as good as anyone in the league, and he has earned a reputation for himself as the best player in tough playing situations. He began his playing career with the Cleveland Cavaliers, was NBA champion with them in 2016, and joined the Boston Celtics the following year. Irving currently plays for the Brooklyn Nets and has been an NBA All-Star on seven occasions. Well, there are loads of players that we may have probably missed in this list, and the likes of Steve Nash, Derrick Rose, and Jason Williams definitely deserve a mention. Anyone else you think we missed? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.